Hi guys, this is Bella. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, I am a Jamaican living in Argentina and it's my desire to show you all things about the Argentine culture, what traveling in Argentina looks like, what it is like interacting with people from different communities, just about everything. So if you're interested, then please stay with me, like, share, subscribe. And I just want to thank everyone who has been a part of this um, channel so far. I really appreciate everything that you have been doing, those who have been watching, commenting, sharing, liking, subscribing, thank you so much. And I'm almost at 500 subscribers and as promised, when I get to 500 subscribers, I'll do a live stream so that we can talk, get to know each other more and you can ask me all the questions that you have about Argentina. Alright, so let's get on with today's video. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you 10 things that were different or weird for me when I got to Argentina as a Jamaican. Um, I've also I've done a video before with 10 things, but I'm going to add <laughs> 10 more things. And I think I have about 20 more things to add. So <laughs> you may want to keep coming back if you'd like to, to find out the things that are different about Argentina. Now, my list is going to be a lot longer than many other persons because I've lived here for eight or nine years. So that's a lot of time to actually observe the culture. I'm also going to be doing this video in Spanish. So for those persons, for los que hablan español, voy a hacer el video también en español. Así que, vayan a ver este video cuando esté disponible. Okay, so let's begin. All right, don't go anywhere. At last. Okay, so... Number one, the fact that everything says made in Argentina, like all the products, it doesn't matter if it's Oreo, if it's Lay's, if it's Nike, everything says made in Argentina. I was really shocked when I just got to Argentina and I went to the supermarket and I was picking up stuff and all of that. I don't, and I don't know what really um, made me like look on where the things are made, but I started to realize that everything said made in Argentina. And I'm not sure exactly how that works because even the international brands are, um, say, made in Argentina. I think maybe they um, they bring the raw materials here and they assemble them here. Um, I don't know. <laughs> and because of that, I'm not sure if the taste is the same as the things that are made in um, in the first world countries, for example. So I'm not sure why is it that Argentina prefers, well, I think I know, because Argentina is big on um, producing their own things. They're not very big on importing. So I guess the only way to allow those brands to actually bring in their products was for them to actually just um, bring the raw materials and allow them to, to make them here. Um, yeah, so. And, I, and check out my, super, my supermarket vlog. Um, in that vlog, I actually showed you some products that were international brands and they actually said made in Argentina. I'm not lying at all. <laughs> all right, so this one is, I'm going to be talking about maybe two points in one, but they overlap. So I'm going to start by saying that in Argentina, like almost everyone smokes. That's probably just me general, generalizing a lot, but a lot of people smoke, professionals smoke, yeah, the doctors, the lawyers, the nurses, the businessmen, like everyone smokes. Um, even the kids smoke, like I see young boys and girls smoking and they don't just smoke, they also smoke in their uniform. Like in Jamaica, that would be impossible. So in Jamaica, smoking is not really something that is socially acceptable. People who smoke are normally looked upon as oh, people who are not educated, people who don't really, um, who are not really going places. Um, so it would be like the boy in the corner smoking, or in women, when women smoke in Jamaica, it's normally looked on like even worse than when um, a man is seen smoking. When in Argentina, that's not the case. The women smoke, the men smoke, professional smoke, people on the street. So it's like, it's just, they have a culture of smoking. So that was really shocking for me, especially when I saw like 13 year olds um, smoking in their uniforms. Um, and just to lead on to another point um, of kids 
smoking in their uniform but not only that they also do a lot of pda while in their uniform in jamaica that's that's not acceptable at all if you as much as walk um on the street holding a guy's hand in jamaica with a little fair girl and vice versa you would be reported to the school and you would be punished like it's no touching no physical interaction not in your uniform not at school not on the road in argentina that's complete opposite you see girls are sitting on guys laps on the bus and they'll be kissing on the street even though they're in their uniform that was really shocking but then too another shocking part was the fact that these uniforms were well for the girls the skirts were so short <laughs> like really short i recall instances where i'm walking on the street and i can actually see the girl's um body part being exposed she's in her school uniform but her body's exposed because of how short the skirt is i was like wow that's crazy but let me say that's <laughs> that's me generalizing because i think this is mostly the case for certain public schools i think the private schools even though the skirts are not as long as in jamaica but they are a bit longer so in jamaica their skirt must be at least two inches i think if i'm not like mistaken two inches or two centimeters i think two inches below the knee <laughs> um and in the morning they would line us up and we would walk past the teacher and she would look at us from head to toe to ensure that we were all in order but most importantly she looked at the length of the skirt and your skirt could not be tight so it has to be loose and it has to be at a length that is acceptable by the school even some schools in kingston like kingston like the heat in kingston that's the capital of jamaica it's like really high it's really hot but <laughs> some children actually go to school with their school uniform or their skirt being as long as down to their ankles to show you how jamaica is really strict when it comes down to uniform so that was really shocking for me when i came to argentina now on to point number three bikes and bicycles now in jamaica i learned to ride a bicycle here in argentina and in jamaica it's most of the guys who know how to ride a bicycle not many females know how to ride a bicycle but in Argentina, that's not the case. Like everyone knows how to ride a bicycle and it's a very popular thing. You have young people, they'll have their bicycles and they ride their bicycles around town to go different places. So it's like really a cultural thing. Even the government, they have these like bicycle posts where you can actually get your bicycle like with a card that you charge before and you're able to like rent a bicycle from one point to another in the city. And that's really cool. Uh, also on Sunday mornings in my city, they have these tandem bicycles and the idea was born out of like a project to make people aware or have an experience of what it is like to be led. So they give you like a blindfold, the person who goes to the back and then the person who goes to the front, you know, will ride you around while you're blindfolded to get the idea of what it is like to be blind and being, you know, driven or being ridden around the city. So, and those bicycles are actually free and they're every Sunday morning for half an hour, you can get them for free. So that's, that's really good. Um, as it relates to bikes, like there are a lot of motorbikes here. It's a big thing to deliver food and also just to move from one place. So it's a big um, mode of transportation here. And another thing is that a lot of women know how to ride motorbikes. In Jamaica, that's not the case. You hardly see a woman riding a motor motorbike in Jamaica. But here in or motorcycle I'm not sure what's the difference but yeah but here in argentina like women they they're mm, they're there with their bikes going about their business and all of that and apart from that it's just a general thing so that was shocking for me so let's go on to this interesting one and it's the shoes no <laughs> all right let me begin by saying that argentina has a very big sneaker culture so they wear sneakers everywhere it's just comfortable for them and they just really like it so in jamaica people use wear sneakers but argentina like it's different like sneakers to to um to the park sneakers to school sneakers to work like they just really love sneakers <laughs> but the thing that shocked me the most was their shoes like their shoes were very high like some really high heels i'll show you pictures right? really high heels and the designs were pretty much the same or similar 
and I was like, wow, she has some interesting shoes. I've never seen these shoes before, not in Jamaica. Well, I haven't be, lived anywhere else, but and all the, of all the persons who visited from all over the world, I've never seen them wear those shoes. I've never seen those shoes on TV. I've never seen, seen those shoes on the internet. I've only seen those shoes in Jamaica, in Argentina. So I'm going to show you and put them on the screen. And then you, I want you to tell me if in your country, if you've ever seen anyone wear these shoes before. I was really shocked. Not just by the height, but also by the design. And they all kind of wear the same look type of shoes and I was wondering like are there any shoes that I'm used to <laughs> are there are there any stores that actually sell shoes that I'm used to here before it was really hard but with time I think Argentina has been a bit more open so I, I there's a there's a shoe store that's open that's called Piccadilly and it's actually a Brazilian brand and they sell shoes that look more like shoes that we we probably would wear in the Caribbean or in other parts of the world but but yeah I was shocked and also in winter they have a winter version and like a summer version so the winter version is the same kind of design and heel but obviously it's it's more covered and even the little kids they have them for the little kids too there's the kids with these high heels i was like Ooh. but they're a platform so they're not really uncomfortable or anything but it's just like the design was very interesting for me all right so now we go on to this one and this one is very popular because people talk about it all the time it's the bidet like Every single house in Argentina has a bidet. Um, I actually knew about this when I was in Jamaica. I never had one in my home, but my mother was actually fascinated with it. And when she built her house, she actually left a space to put it, but she never did put it, <laughs> put it in. But I think I've been to like two homes in, houses in Jamaica or homes in Jamaica and they actually had it there so it's something that you could find in jamaica but it's not going to be something that's very popular um uh, but yeah it was it was kind of shocking that every single house in argentina the old ones the new ones is just like a very big thing and i actually use it pretty not pretty often but i do use it <laughs> um and it's 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 pretty cool it's an interesting experience but but yeah it's a part of the Argentine experience, a part of the Argentine, um, what should I say, their cultural practices. So I would like to know, is um, the use of a bidet very popular in the country that you're living in? I know I have people from all over the world watching. So let me know if you use bidets where you're living. This, this is also another interesting one, the language. So when I was in Jamaica, I learned how to speak Spanish, right? I was really fascinated with Spanish and all of that. And I came to Argentina and I found out that that's not the Spanish I learned in high school. Like, this is something different. So in Argentina, they actually speak something that's called Castellano, which already explains what it is like because other persons would pronounce it Castellano. So what um, the elements that are the most evident that are different is that when you see a word with two L's or a Y, you go like shh. It's like you're in, you're in a silent zone and you're like, shh. So, for example, pollo, which that's how I learned to say chicken in English, would be pocho. Pocho. Then calle, which is street, would be cache. Or ayuda, which is with a Y, would be ashuda. So that's something that you have to get used to. As I say, like speaking, um, cast the be like you're in a, in a library. It's like pocho. And then um, another thing is that instead of saying tu, they say vos. <laughs> so it's like, um, for example, if someone asks you, como estas, which is how are you, and you say, estoy bien, y tu? It's like, I'm fine, and you? So an Argentine would respond by saying, estoy bien, y vos? I mean, I'm okay, and you? So yeah, they use vos instead of tu. So every time someone Oh, yes, and they also use sos. So, normally, if someone asks you, where are you from? You'll be like, de donde sos? Like, where are you from? In Spanish, in, oh, no. So, normally, someone will be like, de donde eres? I mean, where are you from? But in Argentina, they would be like, eh, de donde sos? So, every time I interact with a foreigner and they ask me, de donde eres? I'm like, where are you from? <laughs> because I know you ain't from Argentina. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's like um, those are the main elements that I think um, differ. 
but the way argentines speak it's like it's a whole thing in and of itself they are very creative with their words with their expressions if you're from another spanish-speaking country um and you are able to identify with this in your country they also speak in a very specific way just let me know comment down below but yeah argentines they are very creative with their language and they say things too that um other spanish speakers would never understand but i think it's just a general thing though every spanish speaking country has their way of expressing themselves so yeah ciao <laughs> no don't go anywhere have you ever been on a bus before and then out of nowhere you just feel the bus tilting would you think that that's normal not at all so when i just came to argentina i was on the bus and there was this elderly person outside i think and i just felt the bus go like this i was like what's happening here like the bus tilted so that they part where the person is the step up gets lower so that the person doesn't have to exert too much pressure so they do that for the elderly pregnant women persons with disabilities yeah so the bus literally tilts with people in it <laughs> to allow people facilitate people to come into the bus who have a special um, need for it so let me know is this something that you've seen or experienced before in another country in your country or maybe in a country that you've traveled to because i've never heard anyone talk about this so I, i'm just curious to know have you ever experienced this before to end this <laughs> this as uh, this point or this whatever i don't know what it is comes to you live from my tea box <laughs> so this is very popular in argentina like Everyone has a little tea box in their home and I found myself too becoming an older lady here in Argentine So I too have a, a tea box in my home So it's like this little box and they have different forms the shapes whatever some of them are long with uh, more Divisions this one has six and it's just to put your tea so Argentines they drink a lot of tea And I found myself drinking a lot of tea while being in Argentina as well and you can just have like one or two boxes of tea. I know in Jamaica, you probably, most times we don't even use tea bags anyway. We just probably pick some mint or fever grass from a neighbor's um, house or from your own yard. There's some people plant them. Or you maybe just have one tea bag, right? No, in Argentina, that's like a crime. You have to have like a box <laughs> full of tea bags. And you have to have like variety. So here I have a bowl though. I have um, frutas tropicales. Which means tropical fruits. I have cedron, which I'm not even sure what that is. I have um, hierbas digestivas. These are like herbs for to help with digestion. And also I have peppermint. Some people will have a lot more variety. <laughs> I try to like put like a variety for per um, compartment. This one has just five, but yeah. But yeah, it's 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 a very popular thing, and I love it. <laughs> I don't know. I just. I think it's like really cool. Someone comes to your apartment and like, would you like some tea? And and they're like, yeah, what type of tea do you have? And I'm like, okay, here's my box. Which one would you like? Like you have options, girl. <laughs> no, number nine is the knapsack. Argentines have a way of making knapsacks look like very fancy, very fashionable, and they carry them all around every single wear and they have different types so they have a little little cute ones that can only fit maybe a key and some paper towel and they have some some that are a little bit bigger that you can fit a little bit more things in them but not anything too big so i really i really like that because you know it's easier more practical i mean times they tend to be about being practical and comfortable so you just have your knapsack and you just go you don't need to have a handbag and weighing it down on you or anything like that in jamaica it's more of a handbag culture <laughs> or um yeah now they have the little cross over bags but argentines are all about yeah i've never seen an argentine with one of those crossover bags or maybe one or two but everyone has a knapsack people go to church with knapsacks they go to school well school obviously <laughs> but they go they go to parties maybe to the restaurants dressed up looking nice and they may have your knapsack 
Because <laughs> like your knapsack is like a handbag or a crossover bag to them. Oh. And it's, it's really cool because they have some really cute knapsacks and they put them on, dress them up with their outfits and they just make it work. They look cute with it and I like it. And I think that we've also, well for myself and some of my friends, we've also gotten into the knapsack culture. I, I don't know, I just love it. So let me know, I think it's maybe a European thing. If you're living in Europe, do you find that Europeans are all about using knapsacks everywhere? Knapsack, backpack, or backpack, whatever you call them. Backpack, backpack. So, as we bring this party to a close, I would like to mention my last point for this video. Costume parties. Now, if you're coming to Argentina and you're planning to make a lot of friends and to socialize and all of that, bring your costumes. Argentines are all about costume parties. Ever since I've been in Argentina, every single party, the theme has been costume party. Yet, they have stores that permanently sell costumes because every party in Argentina is all about a costume and I'm here like wow can't you do any other any, any other theme why is it all about costumes so yeah um yeah their party is all about the costume for the kids for the adults they love to dress up in costumes and characters so yeah guys so that's it for me today that's it for me or from me today thank you so much for coming and remember to support and to keep it going and i'm i'm also willing to to learn from you guys if you have any tips any suggestions on how to improve this channel or how to reach more persons make it more interesting i'm willing to learn so you can leave me a comment or you can reach out to me on instagram it's bella 23 Kirsty on instagram as long as you're willing to talk about things that are related to the channel, <laughs> I'm willing to facilitate you and to help you in any way possible. So thank you so much and I'm looking forward to seeing you when I go live, okay?